A monumental week on Capitol Hill is about to get started. On Thursday, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford will testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee. She's the woman accusing Supreme Court nominee Judge Brett Kavanaugh of sexual assault when they were teenagers. As NBC's Jennifer Johnson reports, he will testify right after she does. Judge Brett Kavanaugh's accuser, Christine Blasey Ford, now agreeing to publicly testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee Thursday. Ford has accused Kavanaugh of sexually assaulting her at a high school party in 1982, delaying his Supreme Court nomination. I think it really speaks to her credibility at this moment. What in the hell did she have to gain by doing this? At this point, she's faced death threats. Her family has been moved out of their home. Republicans promise a fair hearing, but predict Kavanaugh will end up on the high court. Everything I know about Judge Kavanaugh goes against this allegation. I want to listen to Dr. Ford. I feel sorry for her. I think she's being used here. But Ford's husband, Russell Ford, denies that, telling the Washington Post her mindset was, I've got this terrible secret. What am I going to do with this secret? Adding, she was like, I can't deal with this. If he becomes the nominee, then I'm moving to another country. Kavanaugh and his supporters claim the assault never happened. I, mean, I know him uh, to be a very respectful, thoughtful, quiet, uh, prudent person, and this just doesn't add up. Dr. Ford says a third party was in the room at the time of the alleged attack, Mark Judge, but the Senate Judiciary Committee will not subpoena him to testify. Judge has said he has no memory of the alleged incident. Ford's lawyers are criticizing the committee for refusing to subpoena Judge and for not inviting any other witnesses who they say are essential for a fair hearing. Jennifer Johnson, NBC News, Washington.